following our previous broadcast of Yetter Japan. We will continue our report on the battle of bipedal robots. Robo One Entertainment, which took place on the last day of the International Robot Exhibition 2011 held on November 9th through the 12th at Tokyo Big Sight's main stage. It was a team competition of the top fighters of Robo One GP against other skilled fighters, and the GP team had announced their splitting up if they lost the game. Here's the digest of the battle between the Robo One GP team and the revolutionaries. Here's the rule, each round is 3 minutes, 3 goes and you're out. The Gundam has begun to fall to peace and in the end it was victory for Dynamizer. With his tricky moves that made the children laugh, Tokido Kamaru used his sliding kick to knock out Ogai three times and win the battle. This means two wins for GP the team. With an effective push from below, Chrome Kid wins against its opponent with a total knockout. This makes three consecutive wins for Obo 1 GP. Crew, with its small body, had put up a good fight against its much heavier opponent but unfortunately had three downs taken by Monstar for another TKO win, confirming the victory for the GP team. From this match, there was a sudden change in the rule that if the Robo 1 GP team loses, that robot has to leave the team, making the battle even more exciting.
Although Neutrino is just a high school team, they took two downs with its skillful control in a flash. With Neutrino's attack, the Okatana Great Shiranui's power cable was pulled out and was unable to get back on its feet, making it a win for Neutrino. Finally, the last battle of the bosses, Saga with its white body is much smaller in size compared to the red-bodied Great King Geyser, but it put up a good fight with its throwing tricks. They had both taken two downs but Saga lost points when it was unable to get back on its feet with a punch from Great King Geyser. Hope you liked this broadcast on the International Robot Exhibition 2011. There is no plan of hosting this exhibition next year. But we plan to update you on the news of J-Pop technology centered around robots so please send in your requests. See ya.